Hi, I'm Kent and I'm going to give you my overview of the Meyer UPJ-1P and the HP 500 subwoofer. Uh, the front of the unit has a very heavy duty perforated grille. Behind these large perfs you have a very uh, fine plastic mesh material. It looks like it would shed water well. It's rolled around the, the corners very nicely. It's very thick, very well made. It's an 80 by 50 horn and it can be rotated inside. The UPJ is bi-amped inside of it as well with a great limiting system. The top and the bottom of the UPJ-1P has a, about a half inch thick aluminum piece that has all your threaded inserts for uh, hanging it or using a pull mount. It's a very well made unit and allows you to if you're going to put on a pole, you can use something like this. This is from on stage, and Meyer gives you some uh, little wing nuts that come with the unit. And I had to put some about a half inch of washers on it to give you enough depth to screw into the the bottom of the unit. And uh, Meyer also gives you a nice pack with some some eye bolts as well. You also notice this speaker is just trapezoidal. There's no funny side to one of these to be used as a floor monitor, uh, which is nice for installations. On the back of the loudspeaker, you have two speak on connectors for the power. You have a XLR input and output for looping the input signals to multiple units. You have a, an on light, a temperature indicator, uh, a limit light, and a signal present light. Uh, I was running these up to about 97, 98 dBA from about 50 feet away, uh, slow response, and the limit light was just starting to come on, so these little guys get pretty loud. I was with just two of them and two subwoofers. Uh, this does have the optional RMS input module. This is a module that you slide into the unit and screw into it with uh, four screws. This input plate is module as well. And that allows you to monitor the loudspeaker remotely via a network.